Welcome to another episode of Motors and Meats. Today we're tackling five easy DIY projects that you can do to save yourself some money and feel accomplished. It's springtime here in Mississippi, so that means the flowers are in bloom, everything looks lovely, the birds are chirping, and the dreaded pollen is here. We're gonna be covering today five easy DIY projects for your Porsche 996. A lot of this carries over to a Boxster 986 and even the 997.1 model. So stay tuned and let's go make some things happen. First up on the list is our oil change. The things you're gonna need are some oil, obviously. You're gonna need a new filter, a new drain plug, a new crush washer, and then the tools you're gonna need include this filter removal tool. You're gonna need an eight millimeter socket, as well as a ratchet, an extension, and additionally, you'll need an oil drain pan. And if you don't have one that has the high sides, the cardboard box that all of your oil shipped to you in is going to come in handy to prevent spills because that oil comes out of there super fast and I can promise you it's going to splash out of a shallow pan like this. You'll also need to be able to fit underneath the car. In my case I use my trusty homemade ramps made out of 2x8s. You just want to make sure that you can get underneath the car to fit your tools and everything that you're going to need to do the task. With your drain pan and cardboard in place, you take your 8mm socket Plug it directly into the drain plug and just unscrew it. Keep in mind the oil needs to be warm before you drain it out, so go for a drive one last time before you change the oil. Next is your oil filter. Your car may have been outfitted with a spin-on type of oil filter adapter. Otherwise, it's going to be that canister with a paper filter inside. Your new filter is going to come with a new o-ring as well so you want to make sure and replace the o-ring on the filter housing Be sure to use a new drain plug and crush washer. The crush washer is meant to be disposable. The drain plug can strip out if you use them too many times. So putting a new one on there is a cheap insurance to make sure that you don't have to drill out this drain plug. Once those two things are back in place, the only thing left to do is to clean up the mess and add the oil back in. Oil 
Once the oil has had a moment to go down and settle into the engine, go ahead and pull the dipstick and take a look. Hard to see on camera, I'm sure, but it's right in the middle of the acceptable range there. And I'm gonna double check with my digital readout as well. When you get in your car, turn the key to the on position and you'll notice it's gonna give you a digital readout right there. And it looks like I am dead center halfway between. So I'm gonna leave it at that for now. I'm gonna crank up one time and let it circulate for a moment. Now that the oil is circulated, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit longer, go ahead and move on to the next step of our DIY today. And we'll come back and check that one last time before we finish up. So next up, since we're already under the hood, we're going to go ahead and remove the air box. Yours may have the factory intake right here. I've got a fab speed that has this resonator blocked off. Either way, the principle is the same. Really simple, all you need to do to start off with is pop off this mass airflow sensor has some tabs you can squeeze and then give it a wiggle and off it comes so set that to the side next we'll pop off this this and this if you're taking off the factory one because you have to take that off otherwise that stays on this part just pops up like we had it in the oil change and you've got a screw here and you may or may not have a clip that this wire attaches to on the back side. Mine's long since broken and it hasn't really hurt anything. it's just comes out sometimes you may need to take this neck off it's loose and it has a tab underneath it and sometimes you can get it to come out without it so reach underneath and there's a button you can press it's not really a button just a tab and then shake this back and forth and it'll come right off here's that tab i was pressing it locks into a hole down here so that comes out and this just lifts right out too. That gives you access to basically everything else that you're gonna need to work on on the car from time to time. You'll occasionally need to change out your motor mounts. The secondary air injection may eventually go out. Your alternator, we did that a few weeks ago. Air conditioning compressor, water pump, throttle body. And that leads us directly to our next step. We wanna remove this belt and change it out. All we need is a long breaker bar and a socket big enough to fit onto this. This is your tensioner. So for this, we're using a 24 millimeter. You just clip it right onto that hex and then you apply pressure this direction and that's gonna cause that to pivot. See how the belt goes slack? Then all you have to do is hold that pressure and then slide the belt off. I'm not gonna bother taking it the whole way off because it's pretty self-explanatory. Once you get this off of one pulley, you can take it off of all the pulleys. You just wanna make sure when you're putting it back on that you have everything back the same way that you started with it. And let's get in close here. And you wanna make sure that the belt is sitting fully down inside the pulley. See, some of these have a lip. And if you have it sitting on top of the lip, it's not gonna be aligned right and it could damage the belt. Next on the list of easy DIY projects is your air filter. We're gonna take this out since we've already got the air box removed and it only takes a Phillips head screwdriver to take it off. One thing to note, these screws don't come all the way out. You just twist on them until they are loose. And then once they're loose, then you can take the top off and then it just separates. 
You can see here, I already have a brand new air filter in this. I changed it out whenever I changed out my water pump. The air filter that I had in here was a BMC, which is kind of like K&N. It's one that fits perfectly in here and it's oiled and you're supposed to be able to reuse it. And I see good things and bad things on the internet about them. And I personally couldn't tell a bit of difference between the two. So with that in mind, for me, it's much simpler just to you know pull this out, throw it away once every two years. Hey, look at that, leaves. Than it is to you know actually take a day to clean and wash and dry and re-oil the other air filter just for a supposed gain in sound. I really don't think that they add any to the to the performance value of it. In fact, if you check out Matt Watson, his car, he has a 996. He did a dyno test and this one came out higher on the dyno. So with that, we'll put everything back together here in the back of the car and I have one more DIY to show you at the front. car behind your spare wheel is where you're going to find your toolkit and your toolkit has the special tool inside of it. it looks like this basically all this is is a five millimeter wrench so you can take a five millimeter wrench and do this exact same thing with it so first thing you want to do is take off these plastic screws here and it's been my experience that most of these are stripped out by now. So just reach behind the carpet and pull on that and that thing will pull back. You just wanna get in here behind the carpet and you'll see this rubber grommet. You just wanna grab this and pull it off. Set it to the side for later because inside of that hole, there is a five millimeter bolt or nut that needs to be turned. Now it's not gonna be clockwise versus counterclockwise. Both sides rotate in one direction, and that is forward of the car or rear of the car. So either take your five millimeter wrench or your special tool, slide it into the hole and you'll feel it catch on the threads. And then to get it to pop out, just think this rotates the opposite direction of the way that the headlight's going to go. So we're gonna push this back and the headlight's gonna pop out. Here goes. Once you hear that pop, you can basically just forget about this, it's done and then just grab the headlight and wiggle it out. Looking inside here, you can see there's some rails and those rails are meant for these pegs. You have pegs here and here. Those pegs line up in those grooves and slide in. This piece right here, it rotates. That's what's attached to that five millimeter bolt. And in the back, you see the plug that goes directly into the back of this. So these headlights are truly plug and play. If you need to get into the back of this, there's some tabs here. You just say push, just press on that and the back side will come out and you can get to your bulbs. We don't need to do any of that today. So we're right back to the reinstall, which is just a matter of sliding it back in. Once you have it in place, Take your special tool, stick it back in, and we rotate towards the front of the car until it snaps. And then it's locked in. Only thing left to do after that is pop in your rubber grommet, which I always forget and have to redo, but got lucky today while I'm filming this. And then tuck your carpet back under. And pop this thing back on or screw it back on if it will and you're all set. So I promised you guys one last thing. I'm gonna roll the car off the ramps and we'll take one more look at the oil level. Make sure we have it topped off right after we gave it a second to circulate. Looks like it's just barely on the bottom there. So 
I'm going to go ahead and add another half quart and we should be good to go. Well, there you have it guys. Super easy DIY stuff. The oil change, obviously the most time consuming of all of that. The air box removal, essential if you're going to get to any other part of the car. The air filter, you need to do that once every two years. The belt change out, that's once every six years or 60,000 miles. The headlight removal, super easy. You may need to buff those out, make them look nicer. You may need to change a bulb when they burn out. Either way, you can do it, I promise. Just try. Thanks for watching.